Good evening. This is Joe Baker with the Edit Bay, your source for quick production tips. Adobe recently released an update to Premiere and After Effects. One feature in particular I'm really excited about. If you've ever wondered just how far you can push Dynamic Link, the answer is not too far, especially when you're moving between Premiere and After Effects. And what I mean by that is I'm right here in Premiere, I'm working on this short film right here, and I wanted to do something Simple, I just wanted to add this uh, lens flare right here and also to denoise my footage, which I believe works a little bit smoother in After Effects. So if I came over to After Effects, I've got my layer right here for my um, optical flares, for my lens flare. And as you can see on uh, my background layer, I've also ran denoiser to denoise my footage. Now, using Dynamic Link, you can see that my effects have been updated right here in Premiere, but I do have this red line right here, meaning First of all, denoiser is not a real-time effect, which means it's not going to give me smooth playback. Um, but the newest feature that Adobe has released is the option to actually take these this three-layer comp right here, and I can actually flatten this, render out the file, and have it replace this existing nested comp, which is really, really slick. I mean, you can imagine I do have a relatively simple comp here, but this would just as easily be something that's 15 layers long with you know pre-comps inside of pre-comps, which is going to just cause me a lot of problems back here in Premiere because then I'm going to be having lagging playback and it could cause all kinds of problems, you know, slow my system down, cause potential crashes. But check this out. Now if I just right click on this clip, I can go to render and replace. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to match my sequence settings, which means my frame rate and my resolution. It's going to give me a quick time file out of it. And it's going to match my source. GoPro Cineform using the GoPro Cineform codec, which by the way is a new codec that is uh, available with um, the newest, uh, the latest release of Adobe CC. And it's going to put that rendered file next to my original source file right here on my, on my drive. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it'll go ahead and transcode that file. Again, it's going to take that nested comp and replace it with a rendered file that it'll go ahead and stick next to my original source file. So now you can see the nested After Effects comp that used to be indicated by a pink clip is now replaced with this white flattened rendered clip. So this, instead of having that, of course, red bar indicating that I need to render my timeline, it's now yellow and I can go through and play this back in real time. So this is a super, super helpful tip. Now if you go over to Adobe's website, you can take a look at everything that they've added with this uh, recent update, render and replace for After Effects comp. Accelerate the playback of visual effects heavy sequences by rendering After Effects comps into flattened video clips. Dynamic Link ensures that you can revert back to the original comps if needed. So let's say I needed to go ahead and let's go back to Premiere. Let's say I needed to retweak this a little bit. I can always go ahead and right click on it and restore the unrendered file on here, which would allow me to go back into After Effects tweak a couple settings, and then I could just repeat the process all over again if I wanted to right click on it and go to um, render and replace. Certainly a useful tool. I'm really glad Adobe finally decided to do this because it really does, you know, complete the quote unquote round tripping your clips. I mean, it was great to be able to right click on it, take that clip over to After Effects. But, you know, if your After Effects comp got too complicated, you really slowed things down. So this is a real game changer. I really like this, this feature a lot. All right, that's my quick tip of the week. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the box below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.